Well, I think that from my perspective, at least, that you know, humans evolved in sunlight, and we've always depended on the sun for our vitamin D requirement. And the fact that you can't get it from your diet, I've always been recommending that sensible sun exposure, which is typically maybe no more than five to 10 minutes of arms and legs a couple of times a week here in Boston from about mid-April until about mid-September, followed by good sun protection and always wearing sun protection on your face. I would completely agree with that recommendation. The difficulty, I think, has been that this uh, safe sun or uh, unprotected sun exposure message has been heard by many uh, teenagers and young adults as let's go to the beach all day and don't wear your sunscreen uh, and has uh, suggested to many people that use of safe sun practices will prohibit them from having an adequate uh, vitamin D level. Uh, and the few minutes uh, a day, several times a week on limited parts of the body, I think is uh, completely uh, reasonable, but not what we see young people doing at the beach. Would you agree? I agree. But as you know, young people have been doing this forever. I mean, back in the yes. 60s and 70s, they were out there putting baby oil on. Which is exactly why we have an epidemic of skin cancer, more than a million cases of skin cancer a year in this country. And essentially everyone by middle age in this society has unattractive photoaging changes in their skin. And the concern is, you mentioned how we evolved in sunlight. That's certainly true. And nature set up a wonderful system for people who are going to be dead by age 40. Unfortunately, or fortunately today, most people are living uh, into their 70s and 80s and 90s, and it is those individuals who enjoyed unlimited sun exposure in their youth who are having such terrible problems with chronic sun damage and skin cancer. Although I am aware that you and others are concerned that many people have less than optimal vitamin D levels, in fact, we have a pretty healthy uh, developed world. People, again, living uh, into their 80s on average. And uh, these are healthy people, and there's no shortage of the next generation. So it would seem that we are uh, managing to get adequate vitamin D uh, from the combination of sun exposure and uh, diet and supplements, which are used by many individuals, particularly uh, if they are concerned about their vitamin D sufficiency. Well, I think that the problem with that concept is that more than 50% of the world's population is vitamin D deficient. I mean, we showed even in healthy adults last year in Boston, essentially 100% were vitamin D deficient. Catherine Gordon at Children's yeah. Hospital showed Th this is a, there's, a, there's a problem with your definition. Deficiency is has classically been used to mean a state in which there is an illness, there is a health problem, which is correctable by giving additional vitamin D. I could not accept your statement that 100% of the population is vitamin D deficient. You mean that their vitamin D, uh, their 25 hydroxy vitamin D levels during the winter fall below what uh, you and some others would consider to be optimal levels for the population. Is that correct? No. What we're saying is that the blood level of 25 hydroxy vitamin D, which is your vitamin D status, we and others have shown that your body responds by removing calcium from your skeleton if you don't have a blood level of at least 20 nanograms per ml, which is considered to be vitamin D deficiency, anything less than that. So you, it is your opinion that 100% of people in Boston during the winter have a disease which would be correctable by vitamin D supplement? What we're saying is that they have increase in parathyroid hormone levels, and so as a result, they're stealing calcium out of their skeleton if they're not getting enough from their diet because they can't efficiently absorb it. And so, yes, that's why on average, even young and middle-aged adults lose on average about a quarter to half a percent of their bone mass per year.